Lessons from the Lincoln. Buyers, do you want to buy, but you're still waiting for interest rates to decrease? In other words, are you waiting to time the market? The simple reason that that is impossible to do is you don't know what's going to happen in the future until it's over. We can look at interest rates, the fact that the feds didn't just raise rates, and that inflation is coming down. Those are all great indicators, but we don't know how much or how soon or how long. A much better financial decision is this. One, ask yourself, can I afford the current interest rates for the house that I want and do I have my down payment saved? So, for example, for a $350,000 house, your down payment is $17,500 at 5%. Now, an additional $2,500 you should budget for your inspection and for your legal, so that's a total of $20,000 you should have saved. Number two, I want you to ask, how much am I losing in rent every year I wait? So, at $1,600 a month, that's $19,200 in your landlord's mortgage pocket and not yours. Number three, is the market favorable for me to buy right now? And right now, yes, it's a buyer's market. But if things shift, guess what? It turns into a balanced market and a seller's market. And number four, what happens if I wait? Other buyers sitting on the fence will all rush in when rates drop again. And guess what? Demand is what drives up pricing. And so all that happens is you're in a competitive environment. You lose as the buyer because you're paying more. So if your goal is to make smart financial decisions and you're a yes to number one and you can afford it, your decision's made. Stop wasting money and building other people's equity. If you want more helpful information like this, follow my profile and like this post. I'll see you soon.